This screen sets up the scaling values. There are many selections to make. You can choose the units of choice by clicking here. The next two rows set up the ratio of the motor revolutions to the load distance. It is a numerator-denominator relationship. The travel distance per revolution is the numerator. The value right below it is the denominator. These two values relate to how many units the load travels per motor revolution. So if the mechanics of the system dictates that the load moves 100 millimeters per one motor revolution, we would input 100 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. If we add a 5 to 1 gear reduction, the load would still move 100 millimeters, but it would take 5 motor revolutions. So we would enter 105. This is especially valuable for situations where there isn't a nice round scaling value. You can also select if you want to invert the motor direction or not. And finally, if you have a position reset distance, this will be entered in a numerator-denominator relationship as well. This works in the same way as the travel distance setup just discussed. Click Next when finished.